Here's a little secret. My life is kind of a disaster. I have three kids and a busy job, so I just can't get everything done. And you can see that in my yard. That's why today I invited Master Gardener Cammie Jacobson here to help me figure out what I need to get done before the snow flies. Cammie! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know, where do we start? Let's start right here. <laughs> okay. Do you know what this is? No, a tree. This, yeah. Okay. It's a lilac bush. This is a lilac? Yeah. yeah. Like a Has flowering it, lilac? Right. Has it bloomed for you? Never. Okay. That's because lilacs like to bloom on wood that's less than five years old, so newer wood. Okay. And all of these, it, it looks like a tree because look at those stumps. I know. They're it looks huge. like a tree. So you need to prune it if you want it to bloom. You could leave it and it'd just be a nice green. Like if I want a tree, brush. I can have a tree. Absolutely. Okay. If you want it to bloom, you need to cut down. And one thing you could do, it's very daring. I like daring. Is cut it down all the way, except for maybe like eight inches. Like six, cut eight. the tree off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lilacs are very happy in our zone. They okay. do really well. And the root system is very established and it will come back with vigor. And in, you won't have blooms for a couple years, but you'll have a nice small tree that's gonna bloom for the next 10, 20 years. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it down. I always thought that trees or bushes needed some green for like the photosynthesis process, but this will no. keep growing without it. Yeah, no, it's a really good way. It's one of the ways, to, it's called rejuvenation pruning, and you can just cut it down, and these old leggy bushes that have been growing for decades just start over. Okay, so that's my lilac bush. Right. I always thought lilac bushes looked more like this though. This is a miniature lilac. Okay. And it's it's gone crazy, but it's too late to actually prune it if you want it to flower next year on the ends. So you have been giving it like a haircut. I well, have. you need to do that right after they bloom. So in June, right after the lilac blooms to have it bloom the next year. Otherwise I'm basically cutting the new blooms because off. Because right? they've already set their flowers. Rejuvenation pruning, I'm gonna cut that off. Yeah. This I'm just gonna, get 30% out, mm -hmm. a little tiny haircut in a few places? Well, whatever you cut now on won't the bloom. ends won't bloom. Okay. This, this looks like a snake. I'm gonna trip right yes, over and it. you're okay. gonna trip on it. This is a sucker that's coming out of that tree. And in fact, look at this. Right here is a baby, a tiny little baby black locust. I don't want more of those trees yes, in my yard, no. right? No, no. Well, how do I stop that from happening? Well, you have to take and, and take this back and pull it out and cut it and just stay on top of them. And they run around under the ground. And so when they come out, you need to just... Can I cut it like right there? Yes. Okay. Do I even want this kind of tree in my yard? Yes, absolutely. This is a great tree. They have, um, it's very hardwood. It was used for furnitures back in the day, um, building furniture, but it's got a beautiful flower in the spring. And then it's nice dappled shade. Um, I've never seen a flower. Well, you need to prune it. Yeah. <laughs> Story of my life. See all those dead branches up there? Yeah. So cut all of those off. Okay. Because the tree is expanding energy on the dead stuff and it should go toward the living okay. things. And then these branches here are in your way, but also you want a tree to go up and not form a nice big branch right here that's gonna stick out in the middle of the walkway. So I would cut this branch off. You would cut that one off too. Because that one is going into your house and it's going into this tree. So it's just in the way. The, you would think that you wanna cut it like this and say, oh, I want a nice straight trunk. But you actually don't because what that does is it forms, it, when it heals, it forms kind of a horseshoe and it will rot at the bottom. What you want is a donut. And so you wanna take it right at the, right at the base of this um, junction and go, perpendicular to this. To the, to the stem Not, you're cutting. Yes, so you wanna go like right here, and it seems weird to do that, but then you get a heel that's a donut, and it's a nice round heel, and the scar tissue is not gonna, it's not gonna get like okay. uh, fungus in it and mold. When we come down here, I've got some yes. other plants here, and so I don't know what to do. They're like, that hydrangea never blooms, I that know. never blooms, I don't well, even know what it is. there's a couple things going on. One is the root system is is gonna win because it's a big established root system. So anything that's in competition that's planted too close to a tree isn't gonna do really well. And it's getting shade. Okay. And this has kind of, it can have kind of an allopathic effect, which is it, there's some toxins that are produced that make it so that it, other plants don't grow well on, in its 
in its soil. That's a hydrangea, yeah. and they do really well in our zone, in our climate. Yeah. Yes. And so put it in a nice spot. Okay. Give it a lot of space. You know, you want things to settle in before winter, mm -hmm. so get a little bit more root system. Move it. And I've learned from you, then you want to make your soil nice and yes. fed and yes. a lot of mulch. Yes. I learned something. Yeah. I'm happy about that. Yeah. Okay, so speaking of hydrangea, this one's having some problems. Yeah. 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 Okay, this you could prune actually into a tree. And that would actually be nice because then it would, right now it's kind of crowding your gate, it's crowding this corner. It is, it's big. And, you know, I would take, and either one of these, okay. um, for the small ones you could use this size, I would take and cut off all these lower, okay. that, this, and this is a good, this make this be your tree. But you could bring it up, keep bringing it up, and have, you know, a, have this be the start of the branches. And it's going to grow up and, and be a nice, you know, it'll gain probably f maybe three, four more feet and be this nice, big, blooming tree. They're gorgeous. So I've got a lot of pruning to do. Yes. And then we've got one more tree back here. Is this right. one fine? <laughs> yes. Well, this is, um, this is a maple. And what's happened is somewhere along in its life, someone nicked it. And you see what the, those white things are? They look like mushrooms. Okay. Yeah. Is it? It's mushrooms? a fungus. It's a fungus. Mush mush mushrooms are a fungus, mm -hmm. which means it's rot from moisture. Okay, so does because, that bad? Yes. Over time, it's hard right now, it's fine, that's a pretty young tree, but over time, that's going to rot there. So is this something I need to do something about? You can't. I can't. No. But it's something to watch. It's something to watch, and it will be eventually. You know, just keep, keep, touch it, feel it. As it starts to get soft, eventually that might be the spot where it t t falls over in a huge windstorm or something. After the leaves fall, trim uh -huh. this one up. I'm going to get everything done, uh -huh. and then I'm going to send you a picture. Do you think yes. I can do it? Yes. All right. I do. Thank you so much for coming out here. I've got a lot to do, but yeah. my yard is going to be amazing afterwards. Yes, it is.